Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're setting up a personal music server with Navidrome behind a reverse proxy caddy using Docker Compose. Navidrome is a piece of software that allows you to listen to your own digital music in the same way you would your services like Spotify or Apple Music. It also allows you to easily share your music and playlists with your friends and family. Basically, it's your personal Spotify, private and ad free. First, we're gonna clone the repo and then we'll update a few files and then we'll spin up the containers. It's pretty straightforward and hey, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you found this video useful. So let's get to it. First, we need to get logged in. Once we're logged in, let's make sure everything is up to date. Now that everything is up to date, we can clone the repo. Using the command in the description below, we can clone this to our local server. This is gonna create a new folder. And then inside this folder, we have three files. Uh, the environment file is hidden. So do an ls-a to show all of the files and you can see the .env file there. And that will be the file we need to modify first. So nano.env. Here at the top, we need to enter our fully qualified domain name. Next will be the email address for your SSL certificates. And finally will be the path to your music library. Once we have all of this information, just go ahead and control X to exit this, Y to save it, and enter to overwrite the file name. Next we need to modify the caddy file. And the only thing we need to change here is to enter your URL or fully qualified domain name. And then once again, control X to exit, Y to save it, and enter to overwrite the file name. And that should do it. Now we can spin up the containers, docker compose up dash D. Once the containers have started, it will take a second for Navidrone to start up. And we can see Navidrone right here is still starting. All right, now it looks like it's up and it's healthy. Now we should be able to browse over to the URL that we specified in our caddy file earlier. And there it is. We can go ahead and create our first admin account. And here we are. I downloaded some music files earlier for this example. I'm going to click on it here. Sounds like it's working. For my Android users, there's an app called Subtrack, which you can get from the F-Droid or the Google Play Store. This is a client for open source music servers like Navidrome. So you can go ahead and download it from the Google Play Store or you can get it from F-Droid here. We'll go ahead and download it and install it. And here at the very top, there's an option to add a server. And we'll go ahead and just enter your URL. Make sure to specify HTTPS. Whenever I select test connection here, it doesn't seem to do anything. I'm not sure if it's because I'm running this Android app on Windows, or if I'm missing some type of notification. Go ahead and click save. Uh, I left these network connections set to default. Everything looks good. And then down at the bottom here, we can select the library. And we can see here that it is connecting to the library over the address we specified. And it sounds like it's working. If you found this video useful, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching.